guys in this video i will show you how you can fix call of duty black ops 6 uh, fps drops lagging stuttering uh, freezing so without further ado let's get started first of all what i suggest to do here is to fully update your gpu drivers and your operating system uh, to update your operating system you just need to go to settings windows update and check for updates if you're using uh, for example an nvidia you can go to nvidia app to nvidia app or other depending on what your gpu is and just uh, update your uh, gpu drivers right uh, for me the app is updating but uh, let's see what I need to do here so uh, as you can see here uh, on nvidia you just need to go to drivers and then here download the latest version here right uh, the next step uh, open up control panel right click uh, show more options control panel right open up control panel go to manage 3d settings and then here press add and add a uh, call of duty so call of duty here uh, and then you need to tweak few settings here so first of all uh, monitor technology make sure it's g-sync compatible then power management mode make sure it's prefer maximum performance uh, preferred refresh rate highest available uh, texture filtering and isotropic sample option on uh, texture filtering quality high performance and texture filtering three linear optimization on and virtual reality pre-rendered frames select to and apply the changes and the next step what you need to do here uh, you need to clear a uh, cache so if you have this game on steam uh, what you need to do here you open up steam then right click on steam settings and then uh, go to downloads and clear cache. If you have this game on Xbox Game Pass, uh, what you need to do here, you just need to look on installed files, uh, installed apps, and then you need to look for a few things. First of all, you need to look for Call of Duty, press on three dots, advanced options. Then you need to look for a repair button and press repair. Uh, same thing with Xbox app as well. Go to installed apps uh, and then here uh, look for xbox and then look for advanced options and then uh, here it should be uh, repair and repair it right uh, also you need to delete temporary files on your uh, computer as well so go to storage storage settings and then uh, go to let's see here let's go here storage storage settings Look for temporary files, uh, select recycle bin, and then delete all the files here. And look if the problem persists or not. If the problem persists, uh, you need to go to uh, graphic settings. On graphic settings, you need to look for, uh, as you can see here, change default graphic settings. Make sure GPU scheduling is on. Then the next step, uh, you just need to look for Call of Duty here. Uh, somewhere here should be Call of Duty, COD, uh, options, and make sure to use high performance. If you don't see this on the uh, on the list, if you're using Game Pass, uh, I believe you cannot add it uh, manually because you need to permission for that. But if, for example, if you are in Steam, you just need to right click on it, go to properties, install files, browse, and then find the .exe file, copy the path, and then uh, go back, uh, hit browse, paste the path and add the exe file and then set to high performance here, right? And after that, uh, what you need to do here next is to look for edit power plan, select it, then select power options and make sure to select the ultimate performance. If you don't see this option, then select to high performance and then we can proceed with game settings and guys once you're in game open up task manager then look for call of duty then uh, here expand this option and look for call of duty here hq then uh, look for properties uh, not properties uh, right click on it go to uh, details then uh, you should see cod.txe uh, right click on it and then go to set priority and make it to high and then in game uh, press on the gear icon first go to graphics and then you need to tweak a few options here 
So uh, your display mode, it really doesn't matter, it should be borderless or it can be extended uh, exclusive, but really uh, not matter uh, as much. And then uh, on your, as you can see here, uh, NVIDIA uh, low latency, make sure, make sure it's on if you're using NVIDIA. Then uh, on uh, echo mode here, make sure to select uh, efficiency and make sure uh, vsync is off and then here nothing to do here on quality uh, on graphic preset make sure to make it minimum and then select the nvidia image scaling if you're using nvidia then uh, vram scale target make sure to set to 90 and then select everything here to uh, as you can see here uh, low right and then uh, on demand texture streaming also make sure to uh, it's minimal and it's 60 right and everything is low uh, and then the next step what you need to do here once you select everything low uh, go to uh, texture resolution and texture uh, filter and isotropic right and as you can see here uh, it says estimated v vram usage on black ops so what you need to do here you can uh, change it uh, texture filtering to high and as you can see here target exceeds a bit so what i suggest to do here is to make it a normal and texture filtering and subtropics also make it normal as well <coughs> here in every setting here uh, vram scaling is 90 and every setting it should be low and on view apply the changes of course and on view make sure make sure field of view is uh, best 120 and then here uh, as you can see here should be a uh, motion blur make sure motion blur is off as well and that's basically it it should help you with stuttering freezing lagging and fps drops so yeah if i help you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care